We are going to go ahead and look at J Sitemap Pro and a couple of tools that are included to help you with some meta information that's on your website. The first one we're going to look at is SEO Spider. And what this does is it collects information that's available on all the URLs that are in your sitemap and give you some tips on how you can improve them. This is just uh, some information on this testing site that had been automatically added. So you can see that it tells me that this particular page, the title is too short, the description is too short, it tells you what H1, H2, and H3 tags are available in the content. Uh, it has information if it's a canonical or not if it has a duplicate title or duplicate descriptions. For instance, I can go ahead and click on here and it will tell me all the pages that I have duplicate descriptions on so I can go ahead and address those. And it tells me the load time and let's just go ahead and see uh, the analysis for this particular page. If we wanted this particular page to be found for a particular keyword, we could go ahead and put that in and start the analysis and it will give us some tips. So this is just to give you some ideas on how you can change your content and go from there. The content that's in here is derived from your current page settings. In my case, it is just articles. However, in your case, it may include some different components. Maybe you have a shop installed or uh, in, in other cases, you might have something like SP Page Builder that works outside of two more articles that's generating content. The other tool that's useful, let's go back to the control panel of J Sitemap Pro, is the search engine meta information. And I believe when we open this here, it will, it did go ahead. I had auto populated the meta information before I started uh, this tutorial and it has gone ahead and done this. I'm going to enlarge the window here outside of my recording area just because it will be a little bit more uh, easier to see. But it, it gives us information where we could go ahead then and see the information. I choose to change the meta information within each article itself. However, if you wanted to, you would be able to go ahead and save all the meta information and manage it here within this control panel. And that might be suitable uh, for some people. So as you can see, it gives me a different information that in conjunction with the other SEO Spider tool will help you refine the information that search engines see when they're looking at your website.